I was really trying to figure out how to do this video and I don't know if there's a particular way to do it. So I'm just gonna sit down and kind of talk to you guys, homie to homie, friend to friend, viewer to viewer, however you guys wanna call it. Y'all see the title of the video. But before we get into all of that and the reasoning and everything, I think we need to take it back two years. On February 19th, 2021, I had the opportunity to purchase my dream car, which is right behind me, the Nissan GTR. I've been wanting this car since I was 16 years old. And every time I saw GTR in person, I made sure to take a picture with it because I love this car so much. I grew up watching Fast and Furious, playing Midnight Club, Need for Speed, all those cool games and I want to say my love for cars is a little bit more heavy than sneakers on my way home from school I saw a guy washing his GTR on the side of the road and I just went up to him and I asked him hey man can I go ahead and take pictures of your car I love it and he was cool enough to actually give me a ride in his GTR and that's what gave me my real life first experience and just sitting inside the vehicle kind of inspired me and motivated me to get the car even more if you've been watching my channel for a while you already know how often I go through cars and I look at those as baby stepping stones to get to the ultimate goal which was the GTR. Now the only difference with the GTR is that I did not want to finance it. I always looked at it like it was not a necessity. I knew it was a luxury to have it and if I was able to afford it all out in cash, I felt like then the goal was attainable. So I went ahead, started figuring out my plan, saved money, and just kept working my way up to this GTR. And on February 19th, 2021, I cashed out on this car. This was the first car that I've ever bought straight cash, and I was so scared. As you would imagine, the day that I bought it, I had a bunch of mixed emotions. On one hand, I fulfilled my childhood dream of owning a GTR. And on the other hand, I literally just bought this thing for $80,000 cash. And I bought it from a stranger that I didn't even know, just somebody off of Facebook Marketplace. And again, this was a car that I didn't want to finance because I figured if I was going to go into debt for a dream car I could just not afford it and it simply just wouldn't be worth it for me to do that but I worked and saved up my money to cash out on the car and now we're here two years later so now you're probably asking yourself Alex why are you selling the dream car if you waited this whole time to get the dream car and you finally got it why do you want to sell it well let me just break it down to you like this it's very very simple I think this is one of those things that just comes with age and I don't know how to explain it but if you've gone through something like like this then you could probably relate the way that I like to look at most things is that they are trophies for example this car right here is a trophy this trophy represents that anything is possible I set a goal to get a GTR I didn't really set a timeline but it took me about eight years to accomplish this goal right here and at the end of the day I learned that what I enjoy is the actual process of achieving the trophy the trophy is cool and when you first get the trophy, you look at it, you see it sparkle and you set it on your table or in a display case. And over time, that trophy starts to collect dust. You don't look at it as much. It doesn't have that same sparkle that it had when you first got it. On a more smaller scale, I think the same with shoes. When I had that big collection that I used to have, I looked at all of those shoes as trophies, especially the more expensive ones, because I was like, man, I had to do something to be able to afford this expensive shoe. But once I learned over time to just not get too attached to it and understand that what I enjoy is more of the process of attaining the certain thing, I learned to not value these material objects as much. And I don't want to sound ungrateful because I'm extremely grateful for everyone that has contributed to make these dreams possible. This car, the shoe collection, etc., etc. But at the end of the day, this is a trophy that needs to get dusted off so I could go ahead and attain the next trophy. The next goal that I set for myself is to buy a house by the time that I'm 30. And in all honesty, me keeping this car is going to make that goal so much more difficult to achieve. It is possible, but me getting rid of this streamlines that process. In life, you're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices. Yes, I am sacrificing the dream car but it's in order to get a house the ultimate goal this small sacrifice right here can change my life forever my life my future maybe if I want kids down the line maybe if my family members are struggling I'm able to house them who knows what it is but at the end of the day this is just a car this is just a trophy I got it dust it off Let's go ahead and get more trophies. I feel like buying the house is going to keep me occupied for a very long time, but at the end of the day, once I pay off that house, I'm going back on my grind to get another GTR in the future. Just buying one already like this proves to me that my mindset and my work ethic combined with a couple other things makes this possible. So I know I'm able to get it again, but 
In the meantime, I'm gonna have to sacrifice this in order to see the bigger picture and set myself up real nice for the future. Right now, I'm paying almost $40,000 in rent. This is in California, a one bedroom average is going to cost you about 35 to 40 racks a year and you're dumping money into something that you don't own so my main goal is to get out of that as soon as possible so i can start dumping my money into something that is gaining value over the years and something that i have equity in that's what i want to do again my main goal is to get a house but yeah i wanted to thank everybody for being a part of this journey i really do mean it from the bottom of my heart Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. This whole channel wouldn't be possible. The doors that you guys have opened for me have been endless. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I hope y'all support this journey. And if you guys wanna go house shopping with me, let me know in the comment section down below. I wish all of you guys the best. I'll see you very soon for the next one. I'm out, peace.